Hi guys and welcome back to some more Super Luigi 64. It's been quite a while since I've actually done a part of this, but that is because I actually had another failed recording, but it's okay. I only managed to get one star during it anyway. And um, normally this castle has a moat full of water, so you can't actually enter this door. So you want to come, you want to come and do it is um, come to like the bottom of the castle where the basement is. And there's a door, it's pretty obvious, and then you just come down these steps, and you have to swim under here. And once you swam up here, there are two posts right here, and they'll be a bit higher up, and you need to just ground, uh, ground pound that one, and then ground pound that one, and that'll um, release the water from the, the castle. And then once you've done that, this, um, actually no, I got two stars actually, um, but it's cool. Um, that opens this thing. And it's the invisible cap course, where there's obviously eight red coins, as as in every cap course. Cap course, that's weird to say. Um, so yeah, it's just a simple eight red coin mission, as well as this. This will open up the final mission in Big Boo's Haunt. That we couldn't do before, because we had to get the invisible cap. So, uh, we've already got four here, and the rest of them are pretty much like all on these platforms. Then it's not too difficult to get. Come on. Yes, there we go. There we go. Now this can be a little bit tricky, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. And the last one is here somewhere. There it is there. And that opens up the way um, to the star, obviously. Well, it doesn't open up anyway. But you're supposed to get this um, invisible cap and then just walk through the crate, or the gate even. But I don't know why they made this um, kind of gate thing have no roof to it, because you can technically just wall jump inside. So I don't know why they didn't just put a roof on it, then you couldn't possibly get in there, but I guess they weren't thinking of that at that point. So, next we need to head um, is Big Boo's Haunt. So actually I'm going to meet you guys there because it's... I can't really be bothered commentating of me running back to Big Boo's Haunt, so yeah, we're back in a second. Alright guys, so that's um, that's us back in Big Boo's Haunt, and this is the last one, which is eye to eye in the secret room. This one doesn't take too long, so it should be good. Uh, we need to just head up the stairs. Um, I'm pretty sure, well, we've already seen where we need to go when we were doing like the Big Boo's Balcony thing. Um, so it's not really difficult, well, it can be difficult if this is like your first, your first time doing it. Uh, just because the, the invisible cap doesn't actually last for that long, so you have to really, really go quite fast, actually. And then you have to do this, um, this you have to kind of make this jump pretty quickly, and you have to do it pretty perfectly, and hopefully I've done it fast enough. There we go. Can't really mess up, otherwise it will just run out. There we go. See what I mean? It's already run out, and we've just got a big, massive Mr. Eye here. And I don't know why this is, it's not even like any different from any other Mr. I. Um, follow me. Follow me. Gonna actually follow me. Yeah. There we go, man. You literally just need to run around it like once and then it just gets dizzy. Same as any other Mr. I, only difference is it's big. Don't know why. There we go. There we go. And that's us now at 66 stars. So, we're well over, well, not well over, but we're half, well, over half now. So this game is actually going pretty quickly. But now we need to head to my least favourite level, pretty much, I would say it is. Which is, of course, Dire Dire Docks. Oh, how I hate this place. I just don't know why it's so bad. It's like it's a water level, right? But I didn't. I don't actually mind um, Jolly Rogers Bay, and I don't mind Wet Dry World. <coughs> but I hate this one. <coughs> oh god! I think I'm starting to get the cold because I keep sneezing and stuff, man, and coughing. But for anybody that's interested in my main channel, I downloaded a game that is, you know, just a little bit popular. Um, it's, it's one of those scary games, right? And it's quite it's quite a staple on my channel. About that, like at this point, the reason I'm turning away 
and kind of looking at Luigi from the side is because this submarine lags the crap out of your game. So I'm just trying to keep it out of view. Um, so yeah, I downloaded this wee scary game, you know, not very popular. You know, it's called Five Nights at Freddy's 4, so he's going to be expecting to see that uploaded tonight. I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun for me. I'm sure it will be. But this is an easy... Oh god, this is going to be impossible, isn't it? Right. There we go. That's an easy way to get up on here instead of going through, like, the switches and, like, getting the boxes and stuff up. So you can just do, like, a triple jump and you'll get it. So that one's not hard. And once you get your first star out of there, this little portal thing uplo um, uploads, what? Um, kind of emerges, <clears throat> which is the portal to Bowser's um, second level. But we're not going to go there yet, we're going to do this chest in the current. Um, and I can't remember where, I, I just honestly don't remember where to start from this. I'll probably end up dying. Yeah, I, I really don't know where to start, so... Is it this one? There it is. And then I think you just need to kind of keep following the circle and then it's not too difficult after that. So the first one's near that kind of vertical bunch of coins, isn't it? And then, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there we go. And, come on. Where's the next one? This one's a bit annoying because you have to kind of face in the way. There we go, still got it fine. And the last one is the most annoying. Because it's legit right next to this current that will insta kill you. Right, so we're going to swim away. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to just swim right into it. Then we're going to have to swim away. Because that thing will suck you in and instantly just destroy your life and your dreams. There we go, we're fine. We've escaped the current of death. And 68 coins! Stars! I didn't, I didn't say coins! Shut it! Oh my goodness. No! Farming in. We're good. And of course... I hate this man. And you know what? I don't even think we can do this right now. I'm pretty sure you need to beat Bowser in order to get this star. Because the pole, you know, it says pole jumping for eight red coins, yeah. Believe it or not, the poles aren't even here. They don't even they don't even come until you beat Bowser. Well, how, how bad is that? So instead, what we're going to do... Um, yeah, the poles aren't there. Um, we're just going to do this one. Where we're just going to... Swim into this. Two, three, four. I think you're meant to do this with a metal cap, but you don't actually need it. But it is impossible when it's freaking laggy, man, look. See a submarine, it's actually the most annoying thing. Right. See, I can't do this. I just can't do this. Duh. Right, no, let's dingy this star. Let's go and do this one. You have two cat boxes here. You're meant to get both of them so that you can be invisible and go to the bottom of the, uh, the ocean. But actually, it's faster just to swim because you don't actually need to get the metal cap and it takes too long and it's just annoying. I'm trying to hold the camera away from the submarine, but it's not working. But there we go. And I think we'll do the Bowser level and then end it off there. And we can just do Dire Dire Docks 100 coins next episode because it's actually deadly and I hate it so much. So let's enter and we've got 6 and 9 stars. Of course we do. Okay, so let's go for this. Okay. Speedruns for days. Speedruns for days. Speedruns for days. Oh, here we go. Right. Hopefully I don't miss any red coins here though. Because I usually try and like go for the speedruns and then forget I'm going for red coins or something. Um. We can actually do this. Ah, forget it. I'm not even at any point. Eh, uh, where am I? Okay, that works. There's the second one. And then there's a little bit of two more up here. This one always, I always forget for some reason. It's right in the corner. 
and then there's, you have to step on this, and then come off it, and then there's one right under here, that I just missed, god damn it, how dare you, can we do this, no, grrr, no Goombas, just gonna not, interfere with my gaming experience, don't message me at this time of need, right, Touch and right, we're getting it this time. There we go. No, Goomba. Goomba. Ba. Goomba. Ba. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shut up. Thank you. So I've been thinking about um, doing a Zelda Let's Play at some point, and I think I might actually do it. But we'll just need to see. I'm just gonna have to wait and see just a little bit longer, just to just to make sure that I'm a hundred percent certain that I want to do it. So I don't want to like start it and then not really go anywhere with it, because that'd be a bit annoying and stupid and stuff. Even though I do that with a lot of games, but I want to stop being so inconsistent and actually finish games, you know? Because I know a lot a lot of my LPs I don't actually finish like Guag, um, what else we've not finished FIFA series, I didn't feel like even do it. Hardly done anything in FIFA. But that's just because it takes a lot of time to edit for not a lot in return. So that's pretty much why I don't. Even though it's probably like for a series, it's probably my most viewed one. Anyway, there it is there. Also, another exciting thing, um, I think a lot of you will know by now that my unturned um, tutorial thing, that is my most viewed video, and recently, well, yesterday, I went back to check, I check every wee bio just to see what the views are at, and it was at 10,152, so not only did we get past 10,000, we also got another 100 odd views, which is amazing considering unturned has been out for ages and people are still looking at that video. Like, the views have calmed down, like, in the first wee while, that video got, like, it got a thousand views really quickly, and I was so surprised, but, um, the views are start, like, they've been starting to slowly slow down over time, but they're still not, like, stopping, like, it's still definitely my most viewed video, and probably the one that's still getting viewed the most, so, that's still pretty cool, and I'm glad I made that video in the first place. Anyway, let's focus on the game. I need to pick up Bowser again. But he's gonna be a wee annoying bitch and just keep turning till I grab his tail. And. So longy Bowser, but I didn't throw him very straight. Haha, <laughs> so longy Bowser. Didn't throw him very straight. Ah, uh, cool. And grab! No! Stupid lizard idiot. Come here. Give me your tail. No! Oh, God. Let me here run around. Oh, yes. He's fired these, these thingies. Oh, that. <sighs> so this is, um, this is me, like, I'm pretty sure in the first Bowser battle, I was like, I'm usually pretty bad at these, but I did quite well. Yeah, well, this is, this is the badness coming in again. Here we go. I couldn't possibly miss. Solongi Bowser. I think he says Solongski Bowser, but no, he doesn't. He's just calling. He's just calling out Bowser, man, for being gay. Man, didn't know Luigi was so homophobic, but oh well. And I think that'll do it for this episode. We're at 14 minutes. I can't think of any other stars that I can get within that time. So I'm just going to end it off here. So thank you guys for watching this part of Super Luigi 64. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment. If you really enjoyed, subscribe for more in the future, and I'll see you guys next time.